Well, there you are, it's 2.54. I did the test on the Riven sandstone at 2.48. Let's go over, I've had my toasty. So the length is taken, excuse the dogs, but that's what they're there for. There we are. So it's there, 2.48 was when I did it, and now it's 2.55. Let's have a look now. Yeah, Let's see if we can just pull it like this. I don't think even Dodsworth could even do that. Not bad, is it? Well, I'm sat in the van now. Um, I'm by myself this morning because um, I got two guys, they're ill, they're down. Well, we got through all the bad weather. It's eventually a sunny day. We got through the storms and uh, all that Brexit rubbish. And now we've got this COVID-9 or this coronavirus, whatever it's called, and uh, I've got no staff. Well, you are, this is what I wanted to show you. Um, that's as far as we got with our sub base. That's the lean mix, as I called it, which is, forms part of a PQC, a paving quality concrete, if you were doing road building. And uh, it's done what I wanted it to. This is absolutely solid. And the idea about this is that it's gonna, it's just a rigid paving system. But what, what we were able to show now is that you can see where the water is ingressing into the garden. And we've got like this trench all the way across, which that's what I was hoping for, because at least I can see where it is. This uh, base is absolutely solid. If you'd had a tight one in here, it'd been absolutely soaking because it would have permeated through it. But with this, it'll still permeate through, but because there's some cement content, it's rigid. Well, there we are. There's the trench. So that's where our drainage is going to be, in that trench there. But we're going to connect to that storm pipe over yonder. Well, this is called a graft. This is this is for digging and getting down and amongst it. It's a bit dirty, but it's going to get me down and expose that four inch. Well, here we are. This, I've I've connected some fittings in now, put these in place here. This going underneath the drive here, so we're really stuck here um, to, for space. It really, it wants a chamber on there, but the, the, the chamber would fall right on the steps. It would just look a total mess. So I've got, hopefully I've got those going <laughs> right way now. I've been doing pipe work for years, but so embarrassing the one time, actually somebody pointed out that I had uh, a T-junction the wrong way, so... We've got armoured cable there going to the garage and she's got a fit in. And what they've done is on the back end, they had a land drain pipe just feeding in the back of that drain. This is a storm pipe. So we're going to have to seal that off. We don't want earth and mud going in. So what we've got now is now we're going to run a pipe all the way along this trench, all the way up now. That will be underneath the step because there's water coming into the garden and we need to get rid of it because this really does build up. So I haven't got the um, slotted... Uh, land drain this morning i've got this solid domestic but i'm going to put my own slots in there so there we go well what i'm doing now i've got uh, my junction there and it's not quite straight as i want it and i put a uh, two s slow bends on it but what i'm doing now i'm actually just bottoming out of the of that trench to ensure 
that I get the pipe down and uh, not a backfall on it but it can fall flat with, with the land drain pipe but we just need to take out a little bit more out of there but you can see the water starting to run down now you can see that so that's working well that way we'll see if that gets away by the end of the day we'll see if it works now by following the chippings around the pipe well it's a glorious day at last we've got through the rain and the storms and all you know all that brexit stuff and then we're hit again with this coronavirus um just find it sort of like must be difficult for a lot of people like certainly for me as well Um, yeah for everyone you know it's just difficult times and uh, you know I think as a landscaper or a contractor you just got to be proactive you just got to get on it and um, if you're unable to work for one reason or another but just think of it you know as like taking a holiday I suppose and taking that holiday early you might not necessarily want to be sort of um, paying out for a holiday now but that time off is like a holiday you know have, have a couple of weeks off maybe i don't know keep going where you can keep going but certainly be proactive get on social media start posting your stuff you know do everything you need to do behind the scenes to keep your your business going and uh, that's all i can suggest if i'm allowed to suggest that is but you can see where the water's running now all the way down there so we definitely need a pipe in there. That's roughly where the step's gonna be. So that's gonna to have to be underneath the step. We're gonna to have to concrete over there. But you can see here, there's a foundation running alongside the wall there. And that's that pipe I showed you uh, previous in the previous video. But you can see that the land drain pipe's going uphill. Now, we, it has paddled here at some point, but it's, there's definitely nothing there today. So that might be okay. So we're not gonna go, we're not gonna pave all the way up to that wall, but certainly, we have to do something with this. Well, there's the membrane. Now we're gonna create a sandwich. So the membrane goes in the trench and the pipe's gonna go on top and then we're gonna wrap it in chippings. Well, I'm having a cup of coffee now. <laughs> there it is. Um, I, the collars I bought, I didn't, I should have looked closely. There you go, we all make mistakes. But the collars I bought, they were slip collars and I couldn't understand why they kept moving when I was trying to push them in. And um, shouldn't say it, I've been using, um, that's okay, like, because this is a, uh, a, a land drain system and they all say that you shouldn't use any fairy liquid but we had a little bit fairy i didn't have any grease to put on the on the collars and um, years ago they used to take the rubbers out for a storm drain and they say that fairy actually disintegrates the the rubbers but what you got to remember is in the top of that pipe now because they didn't have any slotted land drain solid land drain four inch we have to put our own slots in there and that's what i'm going to do now so i'm going to put cut a slot in there sometimes you get the perforated ones with drill holes uh but we're going to put our, our own in there now so that's the next job but the drain system is in well at last we're getting a bit of sunshine on the garden now but you can see i've cut all the slots into this pipe because there was none there before and the water the idea of the water the water can rise up and drop into and then channel away so it doesn't stay here so once it gets to a certain height it has somewhere to go so you're creating that plug hole the other thing of course is that the water now is actually following the pipe run itself because there's pipe bedding all the way around unfortunately pipe bedding years ago was pea gravel because it was river eroded and now obviously they're using pea gravel for dress stone and we're using this limestone chippings still works now we've got to pull that membrane over the top of that pipe
that's it um, I'm done I've got the rest of the, the remaining sub basin and um, I've got the drainage in on that side membrane I'm gonna show you how it all turns out bit by bit we just got to sort out delivery now and uh, what the situation is with that so we're going to find out that this afternoon so we could have a majority of this paved area down by friday with a bit of luck so it's not about rushing it it's about getting it right but we're gonna we're still gonna try and keep on top of it make use of this good weather because look at that beautiful blue skyline absolutely fantastic i was i was just thinking just then i remember going back um well probably i don't know how long ago was it? Probably nearly 20 years ago, or I don't know, I could look it up on Google, but when we had the uh, the diesel and the oil refinery, the strikes then, and, and they were picketing the, the lines, and it was all, nobody could get any oil or, or diesel or fuel, and all the garages were, shut, were shutting down, people were running out of fuel, and it's, it's that sort of feeling again, it's the same thing like with the recession, but, you know, um, I think, you know, they reckon there's going to be a recession, but I think what the media needs to do is put a positive spin on sorry about the light they need to put a positive spin on this and uh you know and to be at beat and we, we have to if, if we were in a football team or a rugby team we would be positive uh with that you know and even, even if we were losing it seems like if everybody's losing at the moment but you just got to keep positive and keep at it and and you know eventually you're going to have a win there's going to be an end to this at some point the same with the diesel strike and the fuel strike and the the recession that, that there's always an end to it and uh and with this coronavirus now there's going to be there's going to be an end to it maybe for some unfortunately but there will be an end to it it will stop at some point and uh i think as soon as people realize that the you know the better it will be because you know life goes on it doesn't stop for no one so we've got to carry on well i've just uh stopped now because i need a tire look at this this is this is horrendous and i've been driving around you can see that check your tires that's I think you can see it from there but it's not very good anyway um yeah i was just thinking that um you know back when we had that uh, fuel strike it, it caused chaos and panic and uh i remember thinking about it now using a local garage i used to use it regular instead of the big ones just to support your local services and you know the, i remember there was a big queue and I walked up and they see me in the background because they knew that I used them regular and had all these people queuing that never used them on a regular basis. Just a small family run business, a small garage. And um, they called me forward and uh, they let me in. And I'm just wondering now that they reckon there's going to be a bit of a slump in, in the economy. I hope it's just a bit of a slump. And uh, I wonder how merchants now when they start getting product in and you're looking for product if it's going to get to that bad or i don't know are they going to show some loyalty you know to you you know for showing loyalty to them are they going to show some back after all those years of you supporting them you know uh, i wonder <laughs>